Taylor Swift is everywhere right now. And we are big, big fans in my home. In April of last year, my daughter Mason and I were so fortunate to get to see her on the heiress tour in Tampa. She sold out Raymond James Stadium in Tampa three nights in a row as she has sold out so many stadiums over the last year and a half. Oh my gosh, over 80,000 people each night. And it was such an incredible experience. I mean, it was magic. Three hours, 44 songs, 80,000 people singing along with her. I mean, the connection that I felt was incredible. So I was really moved recently when I, you know, had experienced that. And then I saw this photo of her from 2007, 16 years ago playing at this small little outdoor venue for just a few thousand people. And it was such a reminder to me of not giving up on your dreams. Whether you're a fan of Taylor Swift or not, there is no denying the valuable lessons that we can all learn from her entrepreneurial spirit and her drive. She is a leader. She is a force. And her success is no accident. And it is an ex excellent example for anyone looking to build a brand or shape a career. She has an unrelenting work ethic and has built an empire that spans far beyond the realm of music. And all of this success did not come overnight. I mean, let's go way, way back. At age nine, she started taking vocal and acting lessons, recognizing that she had a gift. Around age 12, a computer repairman taught her how to play guitar and helped her with her first song. She wrote a song called Lucky You. She worked so hard for so many years, pl playing it and performing at local venues, sending demos to record labels before she was discovered. And even after her initial success, she continued to take risks and strive for excellence, you know, leaving her former record label to start her own. I could go on and on and on about her achievements. I have come to just so admire her and I love her music, but I so admire her as a woman, as a leader. But what you often don't hear about is all of the hard work, the hard, hard work that she's put in. So it's a reminder for all leaders to be persistent. What is it that you want? Don't give up in the face of challenges or setbacks. Keep working. How badly do you want it? Keep taking calculated risks and don't be afraid to pivot when necessary. All incredible lessons that we can learn from Taylor Swift's example. And what a great way to take care of yourself and ultimately each other.